This week's Throwback to Black goes to a quote from Arthur Ashe. One important key to success is self-confidence. An important key to self-confidence is preparation. Throwback to Black, Arthur Ashe. Now let's start the motherfucking show. What's good, my people? What up, what up, what is up? It's Valentine's out. Yes, sir. So we back in the building, baby. We are back. I'm Corey Dozeki. I'm something else. Hey, we happy y'all could join us for this wonderful occasion. Welcome back, people. Welcome back, welcome back. Welcome back. Hey, how you rocking, man? What's going on? Feel like it's been a long break. Has it? I guess it was just a busy weekend for me. Okay. But it felt like it has been. Um, What's going on with you, though? Nothing, man. It feels like the days are going by. Days are going by too fast. You know, I got to sometimes got to take time to, um, you know, pump the brakes a little bit. Because, mm-hmm. you know, when you... When you, when your days start flying by, you're like, right, I'm, I'm missing something. Right. So I'm um, overlooking something. What am some, I missing? What the, the the world just passed me by right now, man. If right. I'm just working for for the weekend, as the song say. Right. But uh, so I had to take some time out and just you know, um, see what's really going on. See what I'm missing. Dial in some things I've been neglecting. Um, switch it up my routine than what I normally do. It just feels like my days just passing, but I'm just going through the motions. All right. The things that I'm passionate about, I'm I'm uh neglecting and shit like that. So this I had to take time happen. to reflect yeah. on that. Because I don't like when I look up and it's and it's another week that went by. I'm like, what the fuck did I do? What, what did I do? What, what did I do? How do I justify this? What was my contribution? <laughs> right. You know. Did so, I achieve a goal? Yeah, what did you did you make a difference in any type of way? Right. So when 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 the days got start going by too fast, man, I don't like that shit. So I gotta slow it down. Make sure that you're doing shit that's impactful mm. or means something to you. Facts. I like that um, statement. But um, besides that, man, um, we didn't hang out with the folks, man. My mother wasn't feeling too hot. Mm. So we um, we just chilled out, had a little phone conversation. Uh, I just stayed in the crib most of the time, man. Um, uh, we, did do, we did do the funeral, though, didn't we? We did do the funeral. Yeah, did yes. do the funeral. Um, deepest condolences. Deepest condolences to the Raxton family. Yes, yes. Um, you know, you know when people that you love go through things. Like you hate to see people that you care about go through stuff. You really do. It weighs on you. It feels like it's your burden too. You don't want to see that. I don't like. I don't like my people not feeling right. So, right. Um, my deepest condolences, my uh, prayers and strength to you. Um, but I'm gonna say this, dog. You, you hell. Um, for one. You can't be in these motherfucking functions. Are you talking about me? You, you, you nigga. You talking about me now? I ain't even want to glance over to you at the goddamn funeral because I just knew you was going to show the fuck out. Don't sit next to me. Don't sit next to this nigga, bro. <laughs> and I'm sitting here to try to. I, I can't take a serious moment. A serious moment hate to see me coming. I can't even. I, I should have wore shades. Because <laughs> I had it was, in my pocket. It was too much going on, man. I'm, I, I'm trying to. I'm trying to be there for my people. I'm trying to focus. It's too much going on. on. <laughs> <laughs> it was too much going on in the guy. There's a lot going on in that one. Jesus, man. Woo, baby. And that lady dropped that paper one more goddamn she time. She kept dropping that goddamn paper. Yeah, so I'm like, I can't be at the funeral. I just can't laughing. be laughing. Yeah. But I'm in this funeral. Like, you know, first time I met you laughing at the funeral, you're like, oh, you're going to be like this, huh? Yeah. Like this is what you get, but uh, yeah, that was that was a wild be time. Already. That was a wild time. You know, I'm not too uh, accustomed. Was, I was proud of you, so, man. You held it down. Um, yeah, I had my first repass meal. You did, yeah. He survived. Hey, Liberty was busting. Hey, it was though. <laughs> Liberty was busting. Was. Hey, you go hold you. <laughs> um. Oh man! But uh, besides that, man, the, the later night turn up was dope. 
we got a chance to hang out and you know laugh and shit and you know that was some of the best parts. Recap. The yeah. recap is always good because you get it from different. Angles. Everybody see everything's different. Now I know right. it's a serious situation and it's a, it's a, huh. a, a one of those moments that nobody wants to be part of, but. You got to get your perspective on it. You got to get your perspective out there. You yeah. got to do the funeral review yeah. with the family. You know what I'm saying? Dog act like, I ain't even going to get into it. But <laughs> yeah. dog act real unusual at that goddamn uh, funeral. Real unusual. My God. But the recap was good, man. Thanks for the invite. Thank you for the invite. Um, besides that, man, there's nothing going up here. Uh, watching a lot of sports. Um, you know, that's always good when your team win. Mm, it um, is. It really is. And uh besides that, Brian really didn't Bulls do nothing else, game. man. And, you know, I'm still on that Spider Man game. No, oh, man, I forgot you got it. No Real wonder where you mean. That's where I'll be at. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that makes so much sense now. I'm waiting for that uh um, that Jake Paul Mike Tyson fight, he, he gonna beat the shit out that white boy. I hope so, Lord. On some, uh, some hard night shit. I'm really, I, 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 I'm like motherfucker. Out. I don't know um, if you can contain Mike Tyson. Like you know, I seem like these other fights been kind of hey stage a little bit. You know, they might have a little you know add some bacon soda to it. I don't think you can you can stop a fighter from fighting. Roy Jones said, "No, nah, yeah. my Tyson's really hit. Yeah, he's out there fighting for real. And he really fighting out there. So, and not as more than an old man's strength either. Yeah. So that should be interesting. I hope he I hope he bodies this guy. I really needed to happen for the coach. Um, but not, nothing on my end, bro. Besides that, man, how was how was your weekend, dog? Yeah, man. Piggyback from uh, when you left off. Um, was that Sunday? Everybody came over uh, my house Monday for the game, mm-hmm. so uh, we kicked it over there. Um, kicked it with my parents Sunday. Okay, that's always a good time. Shout out to folks, and uh, just really just business as usual. I really wanted to lock down this uh, again going into the next week because I know it's a big holiday next week. What's happening? My birthday. Oh, okay. You know, so I just wanted to get all my paperwork and for the work done because they're really not going to hear from me at the end of the week. I got you. So I don't need no problems. So, you know. And I ain't got nothing too big planned. Might get some golfing in. Um, Might catch a brunch or two. Uh, You know, something simple. Right. Something simple. So, you know, cool with me. Fool with me. I'll let you know where I'm at. But uh, other than that, man, it's a good week. Getting measurements, about to handle some business. Do some big adulting. It's my game plan as I go end this year off. For sure. Well, well, that's about it. All right, real interesting, dog. Yeah, yeah, I'm just, I'm just really lame. I'm just, hey, moving around quick. It's the end of the year. It's time to save some money. Another holiday is right around the corner. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's going to come fast as shit. Yeah. So that's about it for me. That's what's up, man. All right, so uh, where we at, man? We got any RIPs? Unfortunately. Okay. Unfortunately. Let's get into it. Uh, one of the strong, one of the most strongest, deepest RIPs to this man because he paved a way uh, in film that you never saw coming. And the horror genre, this man reigns supreme. Uh, most serious uh, condolences to Tony Todd. Um, you might know him as Candyman. Uh, man, the Candyman gave folks nightmares for years and still to this day. To this day. To this day. To this goddamn day. As a Cabrina Green baby myself, you still be like, ah, oh, shit, that shit is rough. I didn't even have to, you know, remember the experience that I was told about. Yeah. But what I heard, that was right. That yeah, was right in the movies. We didn't play with Candyman as a kid. No one did. We, nah. We did Bloody Mary. We didn't like, who was scared about, of that bitch? Who was scared of Bloody Mary? We didn't play by Candyman. Candyman? Nah. Nah, he can stay with the fuck he had and keep them bees. Yeah. To this day, that's what uh, <laughs> the bee uh, population went down because of Candyman. Yeah. So, I mean... 
I mean, his face is recognizable in every film he's in. And I don't care Fact. what you playing, dog, you candy man. You candy man. You're doing a great job in your role, but you still candy man. You still candy man. You can be a crypt keeper, whatever. Yeah. Candy man. Candy man. Like when we see the final destination, I'm candy man in this bitch. I know oh, it's a scary shit. movie. Y'all ain't gonna make it. Yeah. So, uh, my deepest condolences. Real name Anthony Turan Todd, uh, born December 4th, 1954. Uh, so the, rest in peace. Rest in peace, man. Uh, my next RIP goes to another great pioneer in the dance world, uh, uh, Miss Judith Jameson, a uh, mesmerizing dancer who led the Alvin Alley uh, Dance Company, uh, passed away this past week. Um, graceful, long-limbered dancer who rose to international stardom in the 1970s. Um, took over the Allen Iverson company, took it to further greatness, ran it for over 20 plus years. Uh, true queen, uh, her solo piece cry was world renowned and also a piece with Duke Ellington, sophisticated ladies. I mean, if you know dancing, if you're in that genre, you know who Judith Jameson was. So salute to this queen. Okay. Yeah. For real. RIP, man. RIP. I'm not familiar, but you know, I'm I'm pretty sure that Mega in the field, Mega super yeah. huge in the field. Yeah, yeah. So salute to the Queen, and that's all my RIPs. Do you have any? No, I don't have any RIPs. Okay. Uh, positive stories. What you got? All right. So my positive story goes to the one and only uh, Whoopi Goldberg. She has been announced that she's uh, launching the first all-female sports network, um, AWSN. So it's, it will be the the channel where all sports will be streamed, all women. You can find all groups. Uh, if you're looking for women's sports, this is a channel that she's trying to uh, pioneer to. So one time for Whoopi Goldberg. Come through, Whoopi. Jumping out there and, and um, you know, giving uh, women's sports a platform you can go, you know, you ain't got to go find it. Facts. Because usually you gotta, you'll got you stumble across women's yeah, sports. Yeah, you got to hunt it down on ESPN3. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got to catch the time because ESPN it's not ESPN plus plus. Plus, you know what I'm saying? You got to yeah. pay extra for it and shit. <laughs> Yeah, so her goal is to uh, have the largest distribution of female sports in the world, digital and or broadcasting. That's what's so. Up. AWSN um, is 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 on its way. Um, soccer, basketball, field hockey. So I was, I you know what sport I fell in love with um, is uh, lacrosse, mm. and uh. I was really, I mean, a real big lacrosse fan. I was just watching the sport. You know, I always, I watch it if it's on, but I really got into it, especially the college that was uh, in the playoffs and stuff. There's two different sports between men and women lacrosse. It really but is. But they both interesting, just like it's two different sports, like men tennis and women tennis. And right. They just play it a different type of style. Because different one, place. It's like basketball. Right. One's, one's more finesse, one's more aggressive, one's more physical. Yeah. Uh, but lacrosse is a dope ass sport and I'm watching women lacrosse I'm like oh these motherfuckers are active right so uh, you know you never know what you like until you um, take the time to uh, just sit down and watch it so that's I, what I like about the Olympics they give you a plethora of just options of different sports you would never normally see sometimes yeah that you don't know you like it to right. fool with it and I'm a fan of women's sports man so me too um yeah, so having a uh, location you can just find in any time is, is pretty dope. So one time right. for Whoop. We need that attention. That's how you. That's how WNBA builds their popularity because people are more familiar with women's sports out there. Yeah. We even use, we even know where to usually find the games here. We have to go search for this shit. This this season was probably the easiest to find. Yeah, with so. the popularity of women's basketball, right. this is right on time for that. Right on time. Slow queen. Right on time. Yeah, I have a positive story. Okay. Um, Vamar Hunter, who was recently reconnected with his mother, who placed him for adoption when she was just 17 years old. The Chicago man, Vamar Hunt, 
Hunter, uh, when searching for answers about his family history, found a sweet surprise when he finally connected with his long-lost birth mother for the first time. Uh, L- Lenore Lindsay uh, was her name. Come to find out she owned a bakery shop a couple of blocks from his house. Visited the place all the time. It was the name, talked to Lenore quite often, but never knew the whole time that that was his mother. Mm. He took a genetic test. Um, it was an open genetic test, so uh, it was in her right to call him. So she took the time to call him. He saw his uh, his bakery call him. He was like, damn, I ain't placed no order today. Like, oh, he eat there a lot. <laughs> <laughs> he still answered, though, like, shit, what's my order? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Come to find out it was Lenore reaching out to him to tell him he was his mom. Uh, they reconnected, end up instantly bonding. Now he works at the shop and taking over the business. Mm. And <laughs> they're working together at the shop all the time now. So it was a dope coming of age story, uh, especially in the south side of Chicago, of all places. So, uh, hey, congratulations on the reconnection, man. Proud of y'all. Dope story. Hey, yeah. That's dope. They running the business together and everything. Yeah. Look at that. Been talking the whole time, didn't even know. <laughs> didn't even know that was his mama, just in the same shop. That's crazy. It's just like, she cook good, though. <laughs> oh, man. That's my positive story. All right, then. All right, then. Um, you want to get into it? You ready? Let's get into the muck. How, right. how much? So, uh, that was a, a mass shooting at Tuskegee uh, University over the homecoming weekend. Damn. Um, it's been reported that 16 people were injured. One young lady passed away due to injuries. Oh, Said man. she was trying to save somebody else uh, during the shooting. And um, one person is brought into custody, uh, 25-year-old Jaquez Murray. Mm. Mm, like the name. Uh, charged with possessing a handgun, discharging of a handgun. He said he didn't shoot it. He had a... Um, what they call it, a, a a Glock with a switch on it. Oh, no. Some real nigga shit. And uh, he said he didn't fire. Later on, he told him that he did shoot He did shoot the weapon, but he didn't hit nobody. Um, I beg to differ. I beg the fuck the people that was, uh, was 12 people actually hit, 16 people injured from the, the trampling and trying to get away. And one person, uh, fatal uh, gunshot wounds. No, man, Um, that's horrible. 18-year-old Latavian Johnson passed away from the wounds. I mean, I'm just going, it's my first year in school, bro. First year in school? You want to bring a fucking switch to a graduation? Homecoming. Homecoming. Oh, man. Tuskegee, man, it's one of those, uh, it's one one of those HBCUs that's renowned, and it was their 100th. Homecoming anniversary. Damn. And they come you at the, the ceremony and everything on some nigga tree. They come at the dawn, uh, at the end of the homecoming, Sunday night, and well, early Sunday morning. Uh, the president said this was a function that was not authorized by the school, so they probably just threw a turn up on the campus, which, I mean, that's what homecomings is pretty much about. Though. Right. You got to find somewhere to have fun at. And um, somebody ruined it. And this is what pisses me off about it, man. This don't bring that that bullshit over here to these to, to these dwellings, man. Thanks. Leave that leave that uh fucking school shooting shit to the other people. We don't do that. We shit don't here. do that shit around here. We don't do that. We don't fuck around with homecoming, bro. Hey, you know everybody is there is trying to be something better with their lives, yeah. or did become something better their lives. Why you over there fucking it up? Ain't no way I'm coming back. To let's say I'm a grad and I come back and this young nigga want to show me his pistol. Right. No man, you fucking up for everybody. Go back to the streets, man. Just go back to what you used. This to. is not what this is here for. This some. There should be some sacred shit in the world. Homecoming should be one of them. Should Especially be, HBCU homecoming. Treat it like church grounds. This is not shit. one of those things you should you should be allowed to do. This some you wasn't raised right. Hey, treat it like your grandma house. Well, you probably ain't wasn't raised right. You right. wasn't raised right, man. Mm-hmm. And that just um, that just hurts my my feelings because yeah. we just uh, had several uh, HBCU homecomings. Um, Dylan had just had one. Shout out, Dylan. Um, 
uh, Conway and UAPB had one. Her UAPB went down. Oh boy, UAPB pictures um, look tough. Xavier had there. So I mean, it's the time of the year. People look forward to this and they want to show and have a good time. And your dumb ass want to come do shit like that and you raise enough for everybody else. Now they concerned about uh, do I want to come back to the next homecoming? You know, so or oh, hell, even we can have one. That's how shit gets shut down. Yeah, man. So don't bring that bullshit over here. This is not this type of congregation. At we all. don't we don't fuck around with that shit, dog. So uh, my prayers go out to everybody that's injured and the, and, the, and the ones that lost their lives, man. This is some un- unnecessary shit. You was not supposed to lose your life that night. No, it, at all. You can get out these these HBCU homecomings feeling like a lo- new nigga. Oh God, you feel come out winning, and then you just messed it up because I don't know for what the fuck you want. Yeah. So. Yeah, when you go to prison, I need prison to prison. <laughs> do what you supposed to do. Yeah. Man, that fucking sucks. It really does. Man, this is a second. We got our ass covered. You know, we don't even have a football team, so we have to wait to, you know, our uh basketball season whole couple come around. No, nah, we ain't got a football team. Y'all just got y'all just doing it wrong. You know, hey. Yeah. It is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> get what we can get. You know what I'm saying? So when we do it, we do it big. We have a good time. We come out. We here to have fun. We don't want to think about nigga, my life in danger yeah. at school. Yeah. Man, come on. Especially college. Like, why are you even here? How did you even get here? Who brought you? Who brought you. Who told you about this? It couldn't be nobody here. <laughs> Who told you about this? You know I mean, women at this goddamn thing, and you bring out the... Man, the switch. Well, you tripping? You tripping? You can't shoot. God damn! Go home with that bullshit. Anyway, all right, let's move on. Uh, a federal jury on Friday convicted the former Kentucky police detective of a using excessive force on Breonna Taylor during a botched 2020 drug raid that left her dead. The 12 member jury returned the late night verdict after clearing Brent Hankerson early in the evening on a charge that he used exceptional force on Taylor's neighbors. It was the first conviction of a Louis, Louisville police officer who was involved in the deadly raid. So they're getting convicted for a, a, a excessive force on the neighbor? No, uh, oh, okay. one of them got convicted for Brianna. Okay. Uh, let me see which one. So they, because I know they brought up extra charges on the one that was already convicted. So they, they gone and processed them? Right, yes. Okay. Yeah, now okay. Britt Haggerson got cleared of what is late night. Mm-hmm. But uh, what is his name? Of course, they wait to the end of the paragraph to tell him his name. I'll get back to it. But anyway, one of the guys going to jail. Okay. Go to jail then. Go to jail. Yeah, I know. I know. Um, things are coming up, and I think for some reason they're trying to cover a bigger problem because they keep bringing different cases up on these people. Right. Which I'm here for it. I'm here for it, but you know, um, it should never happen in the first place. I think they're trying to cover some shit. They're trying to cover some because shit. Because you keep charging motherfuckers with shit that... Yeah, it was Hankerson. My, yeah. yeah, it was Hankerson. What's going on with that? So, just go and give them the, the full maxed out Just go and give them the full shit. Yeah. And try to wait for this election. It's like, we needed some shit clear. Mm-hmm. We can stall them out. Nah, y'all gotta do that time. We tired of our people getting killed over this bullshit. And we got y'all ass for the end of this year. So, yeah. You ain't getting away with this one. Um, so President elect uh, Donald Trump has been active or things that he's said he's going to do. He's picking out people of his cabinet and people that he wants to work with because you know, I think all the people that he had in his last term ain't there no more. A lot of them went no, to they jail. No, they didn't work with him. Everybody they indicted. They indicted. They, they got lawsuits. They wrote a uh, tell-all. You know what uh, I'm saying? One or the other. The, 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 the band has dismantled, so he had to get a whole new group. And, uh, one, of the, one of the ones he brought into his his his, his group is, is the Elon misfits. Musk. <laughs> the misfits, as I call them. Elon is part of the Trump cabinet. I don't know where that came from. I kind of do, but, I mean, it's odd. It's odd as fuck. And he's going to be uh, 
Department of Government Efficiency. Right. Um, and I didn't, I didn't take the time to look into what the fuck that means, and I really don't care because the things that's going to come out from this um, presidency is going to be a shit show. It's I don't give a fuck. Pure company for four years. You can name whatever you fuck you want to call it. You can Basically, choke it and call it blue dog shit. Oh, yeah, okay. they try to call it a consultant agency we go, where we can save money in government. We know, we, we know where we can save money in government. We know this. I mean, I don't know. I it's it's just the beginning, folks. Now, um, now did you see who he nominated for the uh, shit? The Department of Justice. Uh uh-uh. The main nigga that's under investigation. <laughs> I want to say his name was Chief Chef. I don't know what his name is, but they put him in charge of all the judges. Like, any other investigation for child trafficking? So, it's crazy. They they really didn't give a shit. Yeah, I just think that, uh, and, and my, my biggest concern from, uh, from this, uh, appointment is that, uh, Elon is the owner of Twitter. And uh, everybody said they leaving Twitter mm-hmm. since he got appointed. And they're going to go to all these other websites and these social media things. And I, I don't want to, I don't really don't want to leave Twitter. Right. I don't want to start over. But everybody said they about to jump ship and they ain't fucking with Twitter no more because he got appointed. I don't know. I, I don't, I don't want to go nowhere else. I don't know anything else. I can't, I can't do the, uh, the TikToks and the, <laughs> I can't do the, I can't do the goddamn, uh, What's the one you be fucking with? Um, Instagram? No. The um Snapchats. Snapchat, Snapchat. Yeah. I can't do the I can't do them, man. So let's let's always agree to just stick around a little bit longer, man. But yeah, everybody talking about they leaving Twitter. I, I mean that hey that I leads to, to my next story. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, blue sky is where everybody's going to. The added one that's the former creators of Twitter. Uh huh. So uh, they said since October, they picked up 15 million new viewers, subscribers. Uh huh. And they now say it's, it's to, if everybody's tired of X and what Elon Musk has done with it, they said, come over to Blue Sky. If you're tired of your uh, your CEO you're dancing in the video, all up in the video, all up on the Trump campaign, on the goddamn campaign trail, you know, there's nothing but Trump ads in every fucking five seconds. I mean, he just really used. That's how he won his election. He really just used you to get your your media platform. You bit you banned him from Twitter, but at the same time, you promote him through your. your you your promote him the whole time on Twitter. Yeah. So I mean, it's it's chestnut checkers over yeah, there. I swear, he said, "Don't worry, I got a friend at the Bayou guys." Yeah. So, what's the what's the app that everybody's supposed to be going to? Blue Sky. Blue Sky. Blue Sky. All right. Well, I mean, let me know how it go. I'm not going. Yeah. I'm, I don't need no more apps on my phone. Really, I need to take some off. Yeah, you, you can start with that porn app. I just think that That's I be need my to, main app. I need to keep. I I'm need fighting to, uh, for. I need space. Yeah, you do. Space is important. <laughs> I don't know, man. So the world, the world is a is a is a circus. We just see how it's it goes. really is a circus really right is. now. We're gonna just sit back and watch. It's gonna be like watching the worst episodes of Office on Earth because they're just gonna be goof trips and just feeding us all types of bullshit. Each day is gonna be some new bullshit. They ain't gonna have the media scrambling. They don't know what to say. <laughs> they like, uh, don't know what to say. I just I needed to go get a drink. What? You was in the meeting with the whole Chinese investor. Nah, I didn't like what he was saying. Man, this man really don't give a fuck. It's crazy. And my last story is um all you air fryer earths. Mm. That was a recall on the goddamn air fryers. Goddamn. And uh, over 3 million air fryers and, and brands uh, from uh, Magic Chef and Secura have been recalled due to potential safety hazards that they can, uh, potential fire hazards. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I never had a, I never had an air fryer and I never seen an air fryer in, 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 in work. So, like, they got these liners you can put in them. Mm-hmm. And so, say you take your food out like one minute before it's done, so the air fryer come back on. But if you leave that paper in there, that bitch set fire in that motherfucker. 
Damn. Real quick. So the most common uh, issues with the air fryer is saying overheating, uh, which causes the plastic to melt, mm. uh, the glass doors to shatter, mm. um, and overheating in the wiring. Mm. Um, y'all been shoving these goddamn uh, air fryers down my goddamn throat for the last five years at least. Right, right, right. You need your air fryer. Get your air fryer. You need your air fryer. Good shit, go. Uh, yeah, man, be careful. Be careful. Be like careful him. with these air fryers, man. That's, they on recall, so go check your uh, your website. Check your lot numbers. Your your air fryer might be on recall. Mm. Um, I wonder if it worked for the oven too. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Get your get your new oven. Just think about just got a new oven with the air fryer mode on there. I got to take that bitch back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So. Yeah, watch them air fries. Watch them air fries. Yeah, that's it. Okay, man. Yeah, that is. All right. Hey, guys, if you want to keep up with us, hey, check us out at powerlunchhour.com. Hey, get some new merch. Holla at us. Uh, get your hoodie for the winter. It's coming up. Get a little chilly out here. Uh, also, if you want to write to us, uh, present us stories, uh, I got time today, cuz whatever. It's powerlunchhour at gmail.com. Scream at us. We're going to take a quick commercial break. Shy to be bartender. We'll be right back. KCCI Barbershop at 1212 Military Road, Suite D, Benton, Arkansas, 72015. Call Chris to book your latest appointment at 501-533-4360. In today's age, it's all about originality, creativity, and customization. Putting your name brand on your merchandise so people know who you are. No one else is better equipped to do that than Kiana Conway with Addicted Crab. You can find her on Facebook and IG. She can do anything from masks, tumblers, domino sets, customized to your liking. Holla at Kiana Conway with Addicted Crab. Find her on Facebook and Instagram. The healthier choice. Helping people see a healthier them one supplement at a time. For all your health and wellness needs, contact The Healthier Choice. CEO and owner Leyland Lambert. Phone number is 501-553-6287. Or you can email them at thehealthierchoice25 at gmail.com. The Healthier Choice. Helping people see a healthier them one supplement at a time. Now let's get back to the show. Act two. Yeah. It's time for movies, TV, music, fix my life. All of that. All of that good shit. Yes, movies, TVs. Let's get into it. Okay. Um, I watched Venom 3. Okay. Uh, it went down. There was a lot of action going on in there. Uh, hilarious. Uh, and true Marvel banter. Uh, so I had some good laughs with it. Uh, shout out Venom, man. I, it was a good movie. Okay. I was cool with it. Uh, I saw last week's Abbott Elementary. I have not seen this week's yet. Okay. Me neither. I oh. ain't seen, like, I ain't seen this week's. Okay. Yeah, I haven't seen this week's. But I did see the fight. You saw the fight one, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Greg used that Naruto talking to Jitsu on his ass. I'm thinking the same thing. <laughs> 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 when I was watching the episode, I was like, "Yeah, he did that. He, that's what he was doing." Yeah. It's crazy. We thought the same thing. About this. It's amazing, right? Yeah, it's I wild. mean, wow! Like, like we're just in line uh, sync in or sync something. With that you know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right. So he did. He was doing the uh, the jitsu and the. What <laughs> so he's got this anime character that he used to end up beating the bad guys by giving them an Easter speech. Oh, so oh, that's okay. basically what Gregory did. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Yeah, I don't know about that, man. Like, so, um, I might have to go barber route. Just swing on him. Swing on him. Swing on him. Man. Swing on him. Just say we had what to fight him. Yeah. Oh, barber. <laughs> swung on his ass. <laughs> he ain't gonna be talking crazy to me. <laughs> no. <laughs> 
Ain't no way the whole school go be out there watch you fight at the school what? like you, like I'm a student. Like I'm still then I'm mad Barbara didn't give up game. I swung up. Yeah, man. He he he's he's subject to the left hook. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, she up there taking medicine. You got let, me, let me borrow five, Janine. <laughs> <laughs> That's why Janine was scared to ask for the fire back there. Yeah, yeah. She's like, she got, she got them hands. She got, she, she got them hands. She got them hands. <laughs> but I was saying, why you got the principal out there putting bets on the fight, bro? Like, bro, you should be protecting your employees. The <laughs> principal trying to get this pipe up. So, trying, you, you want this you coffee maker, right? Yeah. Y'all like coffee, don't you? <laughs> like a motherfucker, man. But, <laughs> ain't no way. I ain't no way you gonna threaten me in my class. Yeah, they gonna threaten me in my classroom. Bro, that's, so, that's my room. That's my the, space. Call the fucking police. Call the police. We gonna be fighting in this bitch. Right. Then Jacob without the extra. I mean, I Jacob made it so unnecessary and worse. Right. Now it's a hate crime. It's a hate crime. <laughs> and I gotta beat his ass. So now I gotta beat your ass too for coming out here with this bullshit. I can't be over here beating up a a, a, a white gay guy. <laughs> I like, know I'm going to I'm jail. I'm going to jail. I'm going to jail. It's all y'all fault. Even when your daddy told him, don't be no pussy. Yeah, you should, go, you should just go ahead and just run the fade with the dad and just call it a day. Just call it a day. Yeah. So, yeah. Cool episode, though. I laugh. Yeah, I think... Uh, Melissa being injured was hilarious shit, too. She's stubborn as shit with that doctor. Yeah, that like was fucked up. <laughs> so I like the um, You know how I said That I don't like uh, Gregory And uh, What's my girl name Janine Janine together Right You know I said that And uh, I really didn't We didn't speak on the Halloween episode Because I didn't watch it at the time And it further lets me know I don't like them together Damn I don't like them together They don't like them together With their head ass Shit like that <laughs> But shit that. just like that I ain't even see that episode I just You knew, knew that shit was coming The head, head ass, ass. ass. Bro, head it, ass. Just, it pissed me off It just confirmed it I just, it, it gave me everything That I knew was gonna happen And everything I didn't want to see happen Cause now Gregory He's a bigger He's already He was already the weird dude Yeah He always had his quirks And the yeah, things he liked quirks with, and Like shit. he said He don't Like what what do you say? Fruit shouldn't be hot. Yeah, he boiled chicken. He don't like pizza. You know, so it's certain things like that that be like, I don't want to see. Now he full fledged weird. He full he all in. He's gonna be he's gonna be Steve Urkel in a couple of seasons. He cried bro. over the rock. He cried over the fucking rock. <laughs> he, cried he didn't want a pet rock. because he he didn't want the attachment. He didn't even want kids at first. How would you gonna be a principal? <laughs> How you gonna be a principal? You know, he talk to that kids. nigga spazzed out with the ringworm. He's a weirdo. A weirdo. And he got a weirdo girlfriend. Is she weird too? Y'all made for each other. Man. I ain't wanna see it. And that next door. Oh man, ain't nobody getting no work done. I ain't wanna see it. And this, and this the, and that's the reason why I ain't wanna see it. Because <laughs> now you gotta deal with that. You know. All day. All fucking day. But I was going hard, man. I appreciate it. Yeah. It's fun. It's fun. That was fun. I enjoy it thoroughly. Yeah. Uh, what else? I'm watching Papa's House with Damon Wayans and his son, Damon Wayans Jr. You watching any of that? No, I can't find it just yet. Okay. I got to dig deeper in my box. I feel you. Yeah. Uh, they brought uh, the Wendy Raquel back, Miss Piggy. Okay. And uh, she's on the episode. She plays his ex wife. Mm. Uh, she has some funny moments Cool little sitcom Set up quick 30 minutes In and out So that was straight And uh, last but not least What else I watch It was something else I'm missing Oh uh, Lioness And Tulsa King uh, we're Catching up on Lioness I'm on episode 3 Just wrapped that up uh, Do you watch that one? I'm not watching anything, sorry. Oh, okay, yeah. Linus is going good. Uh, if y'all uh, watching it, it's turned up that uh, episode three anyway, they found out that the uh, the chick, not who she say she was, so it's going down. Uh, enjoy. And uh, for Tulsa King, I didn't get to see this week's episodes yet, so I'll catch y'all next week. Apparently, uh, Sleepy's watching Tulsa King 
mm. uh, because he mentioned something and I replied to him with the uh um with a gif with what's the guy name in Tulsa King? Sylvester Stallone. Sylvester Stallone gave him a cheers. He's like, Oh yeah, that show go hard. I'm like, Who the fuck is you talking about? <laughs> Tulsa King. Sometimes he's like, Yeah, Tulsa King go hard. I was like, Okay. Like, well, shut up, Sleepy. What's up, bro? I'm like, whatever, Bucko. I don't know what the fuck you talking yeah, about. Tuskegee, uh, so apparently, it's a good show. It's a good show. Yeah, I didn't know I was uh, hip to the game, but you know, it happened. Yeah, so I, I guess I'm gonna watch it. Um, because he was all he was geeked out about it. Shout out, Sleepy. <laughs> shut up, Sleepy. Um, that's all my shows. All right, for sure. So I watch Abbott. Um, so I went to get my hair cut and I was watching Three Strikes. Mm, classic, okay. classic hood movie. Facts. Um, cult classic following. It's, it's, it, it falls in the category of one of those, uh, half baked. Yes. It wasn't the biggest budget at all, but it was great. Like, I really enjoyed they it. They the story get lined together. Yeah, Three Strikes is a good movie, man. I mean, it's a good, it's a good bad movie. Yeah, it's a yeah. background movie. Yeah, it got it. My guy, it got my guy E forty uh, in that bitch. <laughs> I'm always a fan of whatever Shout E forty does. Um, that's one of DJ's favorite artists. Shout out to DJ. Ah, that makes sense. Uh, E forty finds a Rigadale, yeah, as they call him. Um, so and the night agent's coming back for season two. Oh shit! In January. It trust, um, he still got a job. Yeah, so <laughs> How they gonna hire somebody else. <laughs> I saw that come across my. Uh, what do you do? He did something in the news for something. No, no, okay. I'm literally me, yo. You literally made your job. You gonna say this shit like? Oh, okay. didn't follow no protocols or nothing. Everybody was say, corrupted. I thought he was uh, nah. Epstein in out here and oh, called nah. up some shit. Nah, okay, nah, 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 nah. the story didn't turn like I thought it was. No, 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 no. All right, but yeah, it's supposed to come up in January. We got uh, enough drama going on with the government. <laughs> yes, there was enough drama, and that's all I that's all I really watch, man. I was going to, um, you know what I'm my new um, jam is going to be. I heard a lot of good things, and somebody was uh, was on their nuts about it. Uh, Prison Break, yeah, watch Prison Break. I used to watch some of Prison Break. You did, yeah, yeah. Some of the actors went on to do a, a TV show in the watching. So, oh, okay. Yeah. So, uh, I that was that was gassing up so much. I'm like, I'm gonna fucking check it out. So, Prison Break might be my new work. My parents got hooked on while I was in Chicago, <laughs> so they ended up watching it on uh, Netflix or whatever. No, okay. And then it's like you get invested, in, you get hooked on that bitch. You're like, well, I gotta know what happened next. Yeah. So well, what's going? He got a whole roll map on his body. Yeah, that's what they that's that's what they were talking about. So yeah, that, that might be my my next wave. Yeah, it's it's a good it's a good binge. Yeah, yeah. All right, that's all I watch, man. So, uh, in music news, music news. What did I listen to? I mean, where should I start? Where should we start? Uh, we talked about that. Mm-hmm. Talked about that. Okay. We didn't talk okay. about. Uh, that was sound good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we didn't mm-hmm. talk about. Uh, That's Al- hard. Oh, go ahead. You finished? Yeah, I'm done. Okay. So we didn't talk about Absol, did we? I feel like vaguely you mentioned it, okay. but I'm gonna say no. All right. If I did, then you know, bear with me. You know. Um, so Absol dropped the project. Uh, I kind of feel like I did. I feel like you did. Yeah. All right. I but I smoke weed. I don't want to. Uh, I want. I want to be kicking Absol while he's down. Mm. I wasn't a fan. Uh, <laughs> I did listen to that Sheik Luch. Uh, huge Sheik Luch fan, and it, it wasn't all what. It was chic that I thought it would be, but mm-hmm. I thought he would be a little more. He was too casual with it for me. Too relaxed. He was too relaxed. Like mm. you know, you just you know, you just doing it for fun. Yeah. And I'm not mad. I like the I like the 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 legends to 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 still rap. Right. Um, but I need a little something from you. Just let me know. Let little dog niggas, barking. Let these niggas know that you still mm-hmm. got at their neck. You know. Right. He had a couple lines in there, but it was just too casual. It was too lighthearted. Mm. You ain't in the streets no more. 
We understand y'all on bigger, better things. Y'all adults. Y'all want to portray, uh, perpetrate the perpetrate a, a certain lifestyle, right? But you know, you can you can give me like I'm the I'm better right. than you type feel. Give me, give me that. Anytime you know Styles P drop the album, he gonna give you I'm better than you. That's that old man strength. Yeah. Like uh, you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> but the one with uh, the locks on it, he had all the guys on it. That shit was tough. Okay, that shit was tough. It just bring me old locks feels. Um. Rich Homie Quan, he dropped the project. Uh, well, they dropped the project after he passed away. I was going to say. Um, forever was. going in. I don't know why they didn't drop this project. Now, I don't know what what was the in the plans or what was in the making. Mm-hmm. And I haven't listened to Rich Homie Quan ever. I, don't, I think I listened to early Rich Homie Quan. Right. But I haven't been listening to anything he dropped recently. I just know radio. And um, I don't even listen to the radio. Mm-hmm. But... So I came across this one. I'm like, let me check it out. You know, R.P. Rich Homie Quan, and this shit was pretty fire. Damn. And I'm thinking, like, the first two songs are like, all right, they they just gonna get. I got down to track like ten, <laughs> and I'm like, there. bro, this motherfucker is pretty nice though. Yeah. And I'm like, they should have been dropped this one, and maybe they was trying to. They was playing on it. But as I looked at the project, this motherfucker got goddamn thirty six songs. Oh, he you put better, everything. Y'all yeah. better suck my dick, bro. I'm not listening to this many yeah, songs. Yeah, I should have broke that bitch up out part two. Ain't no way he got this much material out, and y'all just and just, just sitting on, on it. it. Yeah, bro, like why? So I don't know. I mean, it's something I really would look, like to look into. Or it might be something there, but yeah. he passed where y'all gave him everything. Y'all could have broke this bitch up in two more albums. Yeah, three albums at that bitch. Yeah, y'all just gave the whole kid a caboodle, though. <laughs> he did mention uh, Gunner in it, saying, you know, people say he rapped like Gunner. Gunner basically, Gunner took his style, or mm. niggas took his style. And what was kind of weird is uh, he he mentioned a lot, and I don't like listening to albums after people just just pass away because yeah. some sometimes their songs, you know, kind of live through their music. Right. Nigga said, I ain't worried about an op, I'm worried about overdosing. And that mm-hmm. shit fucked with me. Yeah, nigga. That didn't yeah. age well at all. No, it did not. And I'm like, oh, fuck. So, um, I enjoyed it. I didn't listen to the whole thing because fuck you. I'm not listening to that whole thing. <laughs> so, but... I got to like track 12, 13. I'm like, yeah, this is if 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 this if it's going hard this long, right. pause, I think it's a good project. <laughs> I think it's a pretty good project. But I'm not listening to that whole fucking project. Um West Side Gun dropped another one on on the ass, man. Uh called Still Praying. It's a DJ drama, Gangster Grills, um, hosted project. He just dropped one a week prior. Right. And came back though with another project, so I don't know what you're trying to do, Westside, but uh, you trying to get out your contract. <laughs> he said, I'm in why the are you putting out so much material so fast? You don't have to. He said, I'm in the building. Yeah, so I I, I like Westside. He's not my favorite one out of the Griselda camp or what used to be the Griselda camp, but I respect what he does. Uh, but two projects is crazy back to back. Like I don't know what the. It's what's trying the, to prove the it. point of that, but it they're kind of two different projects because he brought the DJ drama part into it, so that was cool. And my throwbacks, um, my throwbacks is I listen to that that big X to plug again. It's a that's a dope ass project, and I listen to Drake so far gone, old Drake. I went to Drake when he was when he was uncut pure cocaine mm. <laughs> before to, before the industry had got a hold of the young Aubrey. Went to the original. He was innocent, man. Well, I remember, I remember uh, my homeboy Ivory. Shout out to Ivory, put me on Drake. He like they Shout got out this Ivory. They got this Canadian nigga Lil Wayne. He did put me on Drake, and uh, we yeah. was, I was listening to this nigga on YouTube, and I'm Facts. like, who the fuck is this nigga? So when uh, so far gone came out, man, it was like. Oh, this it's a, it was a breath of fresh air for the game. Yeah, and just to see where uh, what Drake is at this point, but listen to old Drake. It just you know reminds you of a time where a young it was nice amb- ambitious little nigga was trying to get active. It was at that spit. He was really spit, man. He, he was, was putting spitting. he was putting he was putting them together. So, uh, yeah, before the fame and the glitz and the glamour, he was really trying to be. Uh, recognize and I I appreciate Young Aubrey, bro. Right. Um, 
It gets a little murky as you get older. You get older, you know, it yeah. gets real. I wonder what, what uh, 30-year-old Drake would tell 18-year-old Drake. Man. Yeah. So like, no. what? Yeah. Grow your beard out immediately. Just keep it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's fucked up. <laughs> I'm about to say keep it Canadian, but that's even better. <laughs> that's even better. Um, and that's all I listen to, man. Uh, what about yourself? What you been on, man? Shout out to the guy. He got a new uh, track out, new energy, the remix with uh, Westside Boogie. Westside Boogie, that's a dope ass feature, though. Yeah. Shout out to. Uh, Deuce to God. Congratulations. Deuce to God, man. That's major right there, That's man. That's major. That's making moves. I like it. Yes, sir. Um, also, I've been Mixing in my- master by Don Key and himself, though. That's dope. Dope. All fans of the family, man. Uh, I love that energy. I got to kick it with him uh, last week. We had a good time catching up. That's what's up. Shut up, dude. Um, also, uh, man, uh, I hit- Start a radio station on my phone for A Ball MJG. Apparently, they only had one song. Well, not one song, but only one artist, and it was A Ball MJG. Mm-hmm. So I listened to so much A Ball MJG this past weekend because Anger Lights, the car was playing the music. Like, that's a banger. That's a banger. Mm-hmm. That pimp hard. He said, bitch, the grits are done. I laughed from a good, clean place. <laughs> I, said, I don't know why I've listened to this song 20,000 times. Never heard that one live right there. Oh, <laughs> the M- done. MJG album. <laughs> His solo album was so tough. Yo. I don't know what y'all was tripping. I was locked in for two days. I've been pumping. I ain't probably interested. Okay, I got to change it up now. Man, it was a good two days. Yo. I'm listening to every song they had out. Yeah, it was a good time. I'm a huge eight ball MJG fan, man. Both yes. my brothers huge eight ball MJG fans. So, Facts, uh, staples of the South. Yeah, right up man. there with UGK. You know what I'm saying? Like staples. I seen, um, I seen them perform at the uh, the Grizzlies game one time, mm-hmm. and I was like. I don't think y'all understand what we're witnessing. Y'all right not now. getting what you getting here. Yeah. When they came down to Little Rock a few times, I still, the people knew, but y'all really don't appreciate what you getting right here. Yeah, it was just a halftime show. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's like, I'll introduce A Ball. I said, ain't no fucking way. Ain't no fucking I'm watching A Ball at the halftime. And everybody's like cheering and clapping. I'm like, yeah. oh, this is fucking A Ball and G Dog. <laughs> So, nah, I went to three of their concerts down here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So shout out to A Boss. Shout, shout out, out to MJG. MJG. Classic. Classic. And uh, that's about it for me here. Oh, I didn't get to see, I don't know if it's old or new. Uh, your, your boy Freddie Gibbs got a tiny disc. Oh, does he? I don't yeah. know. Did he already do it? Yeah. So they said he up there spitting, showing out. So I'm looking forward to going and seeing it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Freddie Gibbs is is he's on the run, man. He's yeah. on the heater. Yeah. He's on the heater. And he's acting. Yeah. You know, he's he's on he's, several. He's, he's moving around. He's, he's, and Freddie's been around for a while. So right. I, I I appreciate people staying true to their craft and then they getting their flowers or right. getting the recognition they deserve. But yeah, Freddie he, he can do this for a couple of years. Yeah, just stay out of trouble. Stay out of trouble, man. I don't call me that bullshit. Yeah. And I see a lot of that bullshit coming for you. But the, I mean, it, 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 it brings it, it brings a certain um, attention that he, he it makes his, it, that's what, during COVID, when everything shut down, Freddie really kind of excelled because he was showing the fuck out on socials. Right. And he'll, he'll talk shit about anybody. He'll, he'll pissing people off. And, <laughs> you know, now we out, now we outside again, as they say. Yeah. It's crazy outside is a statement. We outside. You know, it's, it's crazy outside is a statement. Niggas. <laughs> Y'all was really locked up. It was really Y'all locked really up. locked up for two years. <laughs> We all, the, the fact that the, the words we outside means that we actually <laughs> outside. And the 10 years from now, niggas not going to know what that means. They're not going to know what that means. Nigga, we couldn't go they outside. Can you can go nowhere. Only essential workers. Yeah. And now they treat the essential workers like shit again. Yeah. That, we don't say, 
We don't say outside back when we was younger. We, we just said it was, that was just life. It was lit. It was normal life. It was outside. Yeah. Well, when outside. We were just- but anyway, when he when when he got back outside, people were uh was kind of testing Freddie and you know what that shit you was talking on the net type yeah. shit. So it kind of brought it. It's probably got his tension level up. And people kind of, um, you know, fell in love with that, but mm. it brings certain type of things with it too. So just be careful. Yeah, just be careful, Freddie. Man, I'm a huge fan. Right. Just mm. you know, see, end up like other people in that bullshit. Yeah, just, just chill out. You, you, you there now? You there? You good? You know how to, you know how to deal with that petty shit no more. No. Yeah. Man, that's what's up. That's all the music for me. All right, for show. Oh yeah. Uh, oh. It's time for Fix My Life. Dear Power Lunch Hour. Hey. My husband got into a disagreement with our next door neighbor and no longer acknowledges him or speaks to him when he sees him outside. Our neighbor still says hello to me and my special needs daughter, but my husband doesn't want me to respond. He says, it is standing by my man, in quotation marks. Is my husband right or wrong? I will follow your advice in this situation. Sign, good neighbor. Who you trying to stay with? Nigga, thank you. Who the fuck you Who trying to stay with? Who the fuck you? I don't give a fuck if I'm right or wrong. Who side you on? Who side you on? In fact, we even question. I have my little special needs daughter not speaking to the nigga. Why? Why you got? Why you got mentioned that the daughter special needs though? So she she was, was part of the story. She was. She was some sympathy because uh, okay. she wrong. You know, shit. Well, if he mad, you mad. Pig. We both mad. We walk we out the goddamn mad. door, and the motherfucker on the porch keep the fuck walking. Keep the fuck walking. Now when we get inside. We get disgusted. This shit. You over there waving and keep keep speaking. Keep the shit. Bitch, it's up. It's up. That's the op. That's the op. That's the op. Now I can't trust you around the op. I'm looking at you sideways now. Nah, bitch. We don't talk to him. And he know I don't talk to him. The fuck you mean? Dog doing this shit on purpose. You falling right into the trap. Right into that motherfucking trap. No. So yeah, I, I if to keep the household uh, leveled, keep yeah. it in one piece, and stop trying to break it, break barriers. If your husband don't speak to the nigga, stop speaking to the nigga. Stop niggas. speaking to him. We all beefing. The whole family's beefing right now. The whole family. We have war. Shit. You not even noticing the early signs of war. Yeah. Jesus. You what? can't straddle the fence. I'm gonna burn the bitch down. I will burn this whole bitch down. Yeah. You gonna be on top of that motherfucking fence like Humpty Dumpty. It's like the uh, when chicks be tell you unfollow that bitch. Yeah. This is basically the same, same thing. thing. If that makes make sense, stop like, talking to this. Stop nigga. talking to this. Motherfucker. Stop speaking to the nigga, dog. Yeah, we are done with this motherfucker. We are done. We are done. I you never know. We stay next door. To the, both our houses might go up and smoke. I don't speak to none of my. He's an op now. Yeah, I have no problem not speaking. Yeah. So yeah, you are wrong. Uh, yeah. And follow yourself accordingly. So yeah. I speak to this motherfucker. Y'all can talk about why they're not speaking, but if I'm not speaking and I ask you to stop speaking, you just, it, it shouldn't be no question. It should be no question. Stop talking to dog. Stop talking to this motherfucker. Yeah. This rap. Yeah. So hey, that's the advice right there. You were wrong, so follow yourself accordingly. Cause you said you was gonna follow our advice. Tell him you sorry. Tell him you sorry. First of all, cook his favorite me or buy it. And uh, you know what I'm saying? Suck him up. You know, you were wrong. But stop speaking to that nigga. The most important part. Well, that's it. That's all I can do. Hey, if you guys would like to write into us, it's powerlunchhour at gmail.com. We'd be happy to help you out. Give some solid advice. You know what I'm saying? Get your life back on track. Also, pick up some merch at powerlunchhour.com. Get some merch. Get some merch. All right, we're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back. Shot to the bartender. KCCI Barbershop at 1212 Military Road, Suite D, Benton, Arkansas, 72015. Call Chris to book your latest appointment at 501-533-4360. 
In today's age, it's all about originality, creativity, and customization. Putting your name brand on your merchandise so people know who you are. No one else is better equipped to do that than Kiana Conway with Addicted Crab. You can find her on Facebook and IG. She can do anything from masks, tumblers, domino sets, customized to your liking. Holly at Kiana Conway with Addicted Crab. Find her on Facebook and Instagram. The healthier choice. Helping people see a healthier them one supplement at a time. For all your health and wellness needs, contact The Healthier Choice. CEO and owner Leyland Lambert. Phone number is 501-553-6287. Or you can email them at thehealthierchoice25 at gmail.com. The Healthier Choice. Helping people see a healthier them one supplement at a time. Now let's get back to the show. I got time today, cuz. I got time today, cuz. Today, 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 I got time, cuz. You know what it is. Yes, sir. It's time to get it off your motherfucking chest. Let that shit go. Air that bitch out. Don't hold it in any longer. Cause constipation and diarrhea. And it help you sleep better at night. Sleep like a baby. Like a newborn. I got time today, cuz. What you got time for today, cuz? Today, I got time, cuz. You got one job to do. That you fucking signed up for to do. You agreed to do this job. This is your designated job. No matter if it's fulfilling or not, you actually signed up and volunteered for this motherfucking job. You need to actually show up and do your motherfucking job properly. Right. I don't need you late for the motherfucking job. Now I don't need you early and then leave and come back. Like you, bruh. You got one motherfucking job. I need you to do it. Now, a lot of people are like, well, they don't pay me enough. To, hey, 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 hey. Before they hired your ass, you were just looking for a job. You signed up for this job that you doing. So it might not be the most glamorous, whatever, but it's your motherfucking responsibility. It's your job. People depend on whatever service that you provide. This is your job. This is your duty. You need to fucking follow through on your job and try to at least give a fuck. Right. You know what I'm saying? Try to be considerate of the people that have to be served by you. Because this is your motherfucking job. When you didn't have shit, you was just looking for anything. Now you got one now, like, man, fuck it. I just do what I can, you know, whatever, man. I don't know. I'll just do it a little bit. Nah, motherfucker. Do the job. <laughs> you clearly got one job. Do that, bitch. To the best of your motherfucking abilities. And quit causing uh, other motherfuckers to suffer because you don't want to do your shit wholeheartedly. Right. Do your motherfucking job, man. Please. And that's why I got time today, cuz. Today I got time, cuz. You know the times have changed, right? Mm-hmm. You you know you know we, we getting we getting grown, right? We getting good grown. Because you, my friend, at one point, you you might have been in that position. Oh, shit. This is my <laughs> beat. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 was, you was part of the person you was talking to right there. No, no. I do my job. No, I say you do your job. I just you, make it look cool. You, no, you, you didn't give a fuck about it. I still don't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. But I do that bitch. Yeah, yeah. To the best of my ability. I got you. You know, hey. Just do your fucking job. Just do your job. You might not like that motherfucker. I get it. Like he said, I was a not giving a fuck type of person. Yeah, yeah. But that bitch was done. Yeah. That bitch was done to the best of my abilities. Do your goddamn job. Do your goddamn job. You can be early and late. Just be the one that's supposed to be there for. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Just do your goddamn job. When they can't say, well, shit, at least the motherfucker doing his job, though. I can't say shit. He doing his job. He don't give a fuck. He done cuss all us out, but he does that job pretty damn good. Do your job. I feel that. Yeah. You make it hard for everybody else. Right. You know what I'm saying? You gotta not give a fuck all day. Trust me. I get it. <laughs> Still gotta do that motherfucker. Let's go put food on the table. 
Well, I got time today, cuz. He got time today, cuz. Yeah, I got time, cuz. So, um, I spend my free time uh, dealing with the with the the gambles and the uh, the online betting mm. and um, putting my money out there to see if I can bring back another profit. Mm. And as I do this in the world, um, I don't I don't get caught up too much in the outcome. It's just a, a it's a fun thing that I do. If I get some some money from it, cool. I don't get too butt hurt because it's a it's a game of chance. All right, all right. But this one really, really, really grind my fucking year. <laughs> no, no. The parlay went astray. I won my parlay Sunday. Mm-hmm. That's a that's a win. That's my a win. Par, my parlay, I just lost to fucking day. Mm. Really drove me, man. Now these are prop bets, and I, I bet on these people who do certain things and. Um, everybody's not gonna do what you ask them to do. No, nope. that's just you know human nature. But what my time goes to one only Miles Turner, Miles motherfucking Turner, Indiana Pacers. You were the only leg in my parlay to ruin my parlay, bro. Son of a bitch. And I don't get into the details of it all the time. If I don't win, I don't win. But I had to go check you out. I gotta say, okay, bro, you can't get eight rebounds, big dog. I got time for you. You ain't got. You can't get eight in you, bro. You're seven. You're seven feet tall. The ball should just come right to you, right? Is you missing it? It's easy. I said so. Maybe the maybe the nigga got hurt. He played the whole game. He might need some cataracts. Nigga, you got two fucking rebounds <laughs> with your big ass. It's your big seven foot goofy looking ass. How the fuck you get two rebounds? The guard out rebounded. Your job is to block and rebound. How you get two rebounds? I could have swore you got hurt. Ain't no fucking way you leave that court yeah. and go to the locker room with your seven foot ass with two fucking rebounds. No rebound head ass. Now if I if I missed it by a rebound, that's just part of the game. You yeah. put a good effort in. They just probably pay back. But two, two nigga, did you show up? Did you pinch a bitch? Bro, ain't no fucking way, bro. I'd rather lose the parlay <laughs> by one rebound, a half rebound, or by three different people not go. You my right. only one who didn't do what I thought you was gonna do, and you did you didn't do it by a big ass margin. Like fuck me, huh? Fuck him. Just fuck me. Mm. All right, cool. Cool. That's a bet. I usually don't get into the trenches or the, the details. I just wanna peek in and see how far I was off. Right. Like how, maybe I was off by one or two. Like, nigga, you got two fucking rebounds. I'm gonna the nigga just showed up. He didn't do his job. That nigga didn't care. He, he didn't do his fucking he didn't job. Do his, you had one job. Let's get a fucking rebound, bro. You played the whole game. You got two rebounds. Trash. The, the ball should just hit you in the face because you're so fucking tall. Easy money. Ain't no fucking way, bro. So my you, time goes to uh, Mr. Miles Turner, bro. You really disappointed me. Fuck you, Miles. It's Turner. embarrassing. It's embarrassing. You too tall not to get a rebound. You can get four easy. Easy. Two? Two. Oh, you didn't even try, bro. You wasn't even near the court. You didn't try. You tried to shoot threes. <laughs> Man. And that's my motherfucking time, bro. I yeah, that, I got man. time, cuz. Yeah. You could have made my night. Nah. You just ruined it. Just ruined it. You had one motherfucking job. You didn't even have to you didn't have to to get the over or under. But you could have came close. You could have showed up to you it. You could have made an effort. You could act like, you know what? Ah, I'm close, y'all. I tried. I tried. You didn't even try. Yeah. I bet you got the two by accident. Like, oh, he hit me in the face. I got to carry it. Yeah, Miles, you got me fucked up, bro. You fucking up, Miles. Terrible. 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 Until next time. Till next time. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. We got a couple of major holidays coming up next couple of weeks. You got, you know, my birthday. You got Thanksgiving. Uh, my brother uh, Jesus' birthday coming up at the end of the year. Uh, this is that time of the year where, you know, it's kind of cold outside. You get to eat your favorite comfort food. What is your favorite comfort food to eat? Like, What's your, what's your favorite one to come, to, come together us? My favorite comfort food? Yeah. Um, um what makes me feel good is is like a uh 
Like a meatloaf mashed potato combination. Oh God, I can go sign that. Yeah, meatloaf combination. But one of my favorite combos I used to eat back when I was younger mm-hmm. is cheese dipping wings. That, that's a standard. And every I used it'll to, get you through it. I used to eat that. <laughs> Quick story, I used to, back in my clubbing days, I used to go to work the next day. I was hungover, mm-hmm. and I knew they was making cheese dipping wings. Yeah. And that would settle, that would settle me down, bro. <laughs> That was all you needed. That cheese dipping wings would give me, it would give me the rest of the day. Because <laughs> yeah, the first couple stomach. hours, it's rough on me. <laughs> but by the time I, I, I ate that cheese dipping wings, I can, I can, I can muster through the rest of the day. Yeah. It was tradition. But, yeah, um. He still like the end of that cheese dip. <laughs> to still, this day. To this day. It's, I mean, it's, 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 heavy. it's everything. It's but, yeah, comfort food, meatloaf, and, and uh, mashed potato. Throw a uh, sweet pea in there. That's what's and, up. And uh, yeah, cheese dipping wings. What about yourself? Uh, mine is uh, my mom's pie roast, macaroni and cheese combination. Okay. It could be greens or green beans. I like the greens, mm-hmm. preferably. Uh uh, lemon meringue pie, favorite pie in the world. You what a fan of lemon meringue pie? I love it. That's my favorite dessert. Really? Yes. The way my mom do it, it's, it's chef's kiss. I don't know if I have a favorite dessert. Um, uh, I have some that I, I enjoy. I don't mm. know if I have a favorite dessert, but lemon meringue is. I couldn't put that up there on my list though. Yeah, yeah. yeah lemon meringue up that top tier. That's what's up. Yeah, lemon rain, then sweet potato pie after that. Interesting. Then chocolate cake. Mm. My auntie makes me a chocolate cake every year. Mm-hmm. I'm not even a fan of chocolate cake. What? Yeah. So one time I had a teller. Oh, no. I was like, auntie, why are you always making chocolate cake? Because I know you love chocolate cake. I don't. <laughs> she said, yeah, she ain't made your chocolate cake since. She did. No, she has it. <laughs> she has it. But she always tell me, she's like, I made your chocolate cake. I'm yeah. like, okay, cool. I don't know where we. Uh, you probably like, fucked up with chocolate cake. I when probably you was fucked kid. up. Like, this is good. Yeah, she's like, for, ever since then, she made me chocolate cake. Didn't even know it. Man, you miss your blessing. No, I, ch- I ate it. But it just, I mean, she felt like she was making it for me. I'm like, yeah. I'm cool on it, and you know. You don't have to go out your way. <laughs> yeah, so. I didn't ask you to. I didn't know you was making it for me. I thought you loved chocolate cake. I just, <laughs> it was a compliment, no. <laughs> but I appreciate it. Shout out to you, Lois. I appreciate Shout it. Shout out to Lois. Um, yeah, comfort food. Yeah, homemade rolls, too. I was always go hard. Yeah, that's about it for me. All right, what's y'all comfort food? Let us know. Let us know, man. What y'all eat now? Um, shout out to Roses. Can I do my let's talk about it? Oh, my bad. I forget you. Man. Is that okay? You can. not Are you ready to go? No, I mean, you can. You got somewhere to be? I just want to get some comfort food. <laughs> go ahead, man. My bad. I apologize. Okay. Got you was here. I see. <laughs> it happens. Oh. Um, so what I want to talk about is that uh, I, I don't want to talk about it. it man, ain't gonna talk hit the same. Go ahead, man. We here. So what I want to talk about, everybody, this better be good. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we was gone. Uh, it's like the nigga that uh, hold over the class. <laughs> <laughs> one, one more question, nah, teacher. That nigga in the meeting. Yeah. They're like, anybody else any other questions? I got a question. I have a question. What about in the manual yeah. on page? Shut your bitch ass up. It was almost le- it was about to go. <laughs> <laughs> so what I want to talk about is sometimes I think that we need to do more doing than saying. Mm. Um, some people some people do what some people are sayers. And I think that you know somebody's not doing it, they keep talking about doing it. Right. And um and it takes away from what you're doing or what you're trying to do when you keep saying what you're gonna do, because now everybody's gonna hold you to that that standard and everybody gonna keep checking in and see your progress and see where you coming along with Facts. it. And they gonna be and then now the pressure's on you and you ain't gonna be able to perform like you should. I think some things you need to keep close to your chest. Some things that's important to you, you should just uh, just do the work and then let the work speak for itself. If you keep talking about it, people are going to eventually stop listening to you talk because nothing has come from it. Right. And 
Um, when motherfuckers say certain things, I'm going to say my fucking coworker. Dog. This motherfucker has been talking about losing weight since I know this motherfucker, right? I'm over here thinking, like, he sure calling me out things I talked about getting down. <laughs> oh, shut up, nigga. So my coworker, she been talking about losing weight ever since I've known her. <laughs> and she's like, yeah, I'm, I'm doing this, I'm going this. And everybody, she can, in ears linked, she's saying, I'm in the gym, I'm eating this, but... Yeah. I got a I got a bowl of candy on my desk. Right, fucking the candy up. <laughs> Get it downstairs. The chain. We had this event. We got boxes of of, of, of fun size chips. Yeah, fucking the chips up. <laughs> Where are my fucking chips going? Say, ooh, I was hungry. <laughs> oh, that's my favorite right there. <laughs> I had to replenish the bowl. Like damn, damn. where the candy go? Like, she could at least put the bowl back. No, so I mean, every every, every t- but every corner she talking about some. Yeah, you know, you know, I'm losing weight. You know, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not trying to be mean. I'm not trying to be mean because it's hard. <laughs> Trust me, I know uh, weight. Trying to maintain your yeah. weight is oh, difficult. It's very difficult. But I'm saying some things you probably want to keep close to chest because now they're gonna try to monitor your progress. <laughs> yeah, like this motherfucker ain't a vegan. Every time you, <laughs> that ain't Beyond Burger. Yeah, Every time man, you, know, you, you owe that snack on chips, people looking at you like I thought you was on a diet. Right. So just you know, some people are sayers and doers. You, you're saying more than you're doing, and what you're doing ain't showing what you're saying. So that's it's really that's bothering me. It's really bothering me because now I don't want to comment on it because it's not my journey. Mm-hmm. But you looking, you looking crazy right now. <laughs> and stop eating my fucking candy. Stop eating my motherfucking candy. Stop eating my fucking you. candy, dog. Probably got the good Snickers in there too. Man, shit. I mean, she, I mean, my Baby favorite Hills? is the motherfucking um, Three Musketeers. Oh, that Three Musketeers, punishing them. Punishing Yo, that's them. probably one of the best candy bars on the market. Three Musketeer? Yes, because oh, I have like crazy. you know I have the peanuts and shit. Yeah, like Snickers. Just give me the chocolate bar, man. I don't need with, the, with the moose filling. Yeah, that know, shit busted. I don't know if I can give you that one. I'm that a shit. fan. I'm a fan. That bitch busted. You probably like Milky Ways too, huh? I don't have all the extra. They got a caramel in yeah. there. I fucks with them. Yeah, you're a weirdo. I fucks with them. No, no, no. I fucks with them. Fucks I always know how that coconut, them peanuts, and all extra bullshit. Okay. Then you're not a fan of the nuts in the, in the candy? At all. I'm not either, but I'll fuck with a snicker. Yeah. I'll fuck with a snicker. It's a good munchy feeling. Yeah. But, yeah, stop eating my fucking candy. Stop eating my motherfucking candy bowl. Yeah. Had to dig in this bag twice. <laughs> <laughs> I got to go back to Dollar Tree. This hungry bitch is eating all my goddamn candy. <laughs> I'm upset. Shit. It's so real. I'm about to double that bag out the second time like I just did this I yesterday. Did this shit talks I ain't even had that many people in my office. It's just us. It's just us. <laughs> 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 what a Dang you get long candy You think You think I wonder why I wonder Well those why. my favorites If you gonna read up <laughs> So yeah um, Yeah let's 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 just do more Than we say Because it's looking, it's looking It's looking real funny In the light Light ass candy Yeah yeah Oh shit That's all I wanted to talk about that's what's up, man. That's what's up. There we go. All right, shout man. out to Roses. Shout out to Roses. <laughs> shout out to that candy bowl. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. He's making his rounds. <laughs> He's active. Hey, <laughs> I, I want to give my roses to my parents once again and my aunt Renee. Much love to y'all. Um, I want to give a huge shout out to Natasha. Much love. Uh, we care for you. We always thinking about you. We're here to support you. Appreciate the invite. Appreciate the invite. For real, for real. And uh, shout out to my crew. And thank y'all for the early birthday gifts. Appreciate it. Uh, shout out, Chris. Chris Stav. What's up, Swanson? What up, Chris Stav? What's up, Chris? Oh, much love. And, um, yeah. I think I covered everybody. Shout out my crew. Um, ditto, man. Shout out to uh, Natasha. Um, shout out to 
Uh, Kim, she on a sick and shut in. Uh, she over there sound like my fucking tone look. Oh no! So I hope she feels better. Press. Yeah. Um, she went overseas and came back with the torch. The Ebola. That's how the yeah. monkeys thing spread last yeah, yeah. year. She was super smart. Man, we're about to be locked down again for the next two years. Oh, they're fucking with them goddamn uh, super spider monkeys. Yeah. What's that shit over there in London? Um. <laughs> I ain't gonna say. Oh man! Shit. Oh, they eating that spotted dick. Oh <laughs> my god! You ever <laughs> seen that? It's like a cake called spotted dick. Oh no! <laughs> I'm not. This sounds bad for me. It sounds terrible. It sounds terrible. Oh, that's why I made it up. It's actual food. It's actual food. Why would you eat it? I mean, I don't know. It's a comfort food. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But it's a, it's a real thing, though. Ah, damn. They could have came with another name. They could have came up with another name. It's like spotted cake. Just leave it in there. You know what I'm saying? Like, now that dick got to be in there. Why? Jesus. Somebody's adamant about that. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Hell yeah. The secret um, recipe. Secret recipe. <laughs> the surprise is in the middle. Ha ha ha. Um. Yeah, man, I don't have any shout outs, man. Shout out to the gang, gang. Shout out to the gang, gang, to the gang, gang man. Uh, yeah, well, bet, man. Hey, as always, people, we enjoy the feedbacks, the comments. We do read them. I might not get a comment on all of them, but we do read them. Thank you. Uh, appreciate it. Uh, if you want to reach out to us, it's powerlunchhour at gmail.com. If you want to post on the website, hey, if you want to uh, uh, buy some new merch, holler at us at powerlunchhour.com. We'll be happy to hear Yeah. Yeah. As always, it's your Captain Corey Doseki. It's your mailman. I'm something else. And we out this bitch. We are out. All right. Catch y'all next time. Holla. KCCI Barbershop at 1212 Military Road, Suite D, Benton, Arkansas, 72015. Call Chris to book your latest appointment at 501-533-4360. In today's age, it's all about originality, creativity, and customization. Putting your name brand on your merchandise so people know who you are. No one else is better equipped to do that than Kiana Conway with Addicted Crown. You can find her on Facebook and IG. She can do anything from masks, tumblers, domino sets, customized to your liking. Holla at Kiana Conway with Addicted Crown. Find her on Facebook and Instagram. The healthier choice. Helping people see a healthier them one supplement at a time. For all your health and wellness needs, contact The Healthier Choice. CEO and owner Leyland Lambert. Phone number is 501-553-6287. Or you can email them at thehealthierchoice25 at gmail.com. The Healthier Choice. Helping people see a healthier them one supplement at a time.